Hey Meta Junkies, if you know me, you know that I'm a Destiny fanatic and I even pre-ordered the Super Deluxe Collector's Edition because the original gave me so much fun. In this video, which should be a bit longer than usual, I am going to detail out some of the good, the bad, and the ugly things about Destiny 2 Beta that I have discovered during my playthrough. The good. Let's start with the graphics. Take Destiny 1, keep all the great graphics and movements we love, but put them in Super HD, moving really smooth, and if you have a great connection, really fluid motion. It makes the original look like a PS2 game in comparison. Destiny excelled in making his guns feel real from the kickback to the vibration to the animation. Destiny 2 does not disappoint here. The guns feel bigger, better, stronger, and now it feels like you can even feel the connecting bullets to the enemy hitbox. It was a feeling that I missed, but also loved, and it helps with the immersion of the game. The character that you start out with looks as if they're a D1 character at 400 light and they play similar but without some of the ability buffs like extra agility, two grenades, etc. I'm a pure hunter and I've never played another class and for that I was given an exotic, the Rayon de Soleil, since my game is in French or the Sunshot in English. It has to be one of the best guns in Destiny 2 right now. It deals solar damage, it's a hand cannon and it causes some burn damage as well. It has a clip of 8 shots, holds over 120 in reserve so you can use it as a primary. Headshot kills take about 2-3 to three hits and body shots take about 4. Beyond exotics, the best primary that I've tried is the Eclart, still French, but you'll need to find the English name, which is a mix of a scout and auto rifle. It shoots like an auto rifle, but it has the kickback range and accuracy of a scout. As control was my favorite crucible mode, I'm glad that they reworked it a bit. First off, they reduced the point system from thousands of points to a range of 1 to 100. The same rules apply, but there's a big change that leads to more strategic play. Instead of pressing the touchpad and seeing your score, you can see all relevant info at the top of the screen. You are now aware of when an enemy has their super, who's dead and who's alive, as well as the overall score of the match. It doesn't show kills or any other stats, which leads itself to playing the objective and grouping up more than going around and killing players. Lastly, the story mode looked amazing. I can't wait to play the full story. The Bat The Strike, although exciting the first time around, it feels a bit boring the second time. It gave me flashbacks of grinding out nightfalls and just going through the motions. I would prefer that after you play it once, the enemies at least attack you differently and set up in different formations. Another thing I didn't like was the waves of easily defeated enemies. I found myself just zoning out and shooting, which did remind me of the original. It seems like the only reason to play strikes is to grind out gear, which can be cool for a while, but it will suffer the same fate as the original. The Ugly There were some bugs here and there, but overall it's hard to find anything ugly about this demo. And finally, the conclusion. If the beta is anything to go by, Destiny 2 is going to be loads of fun. I can't wait to play the full game, and if you're on, make sure to add me, David E. Beats, on PSN. And if you enjoyed this video, throw us a like. And if you want more quick gaming news like this, press that subscribe button and enable notifications. We publish gaming news daily. And to play better, watch just meta. Thanks for watching.